Hey, what's up, guys? It's been a while since I've done a vinyl update. Um, I actually moved out of my house and went somewhere else, and I was separate from my uh, turntable for about a year. So I haven't been buying records until recently. I've really gotten back into it because I'm back home now, back with my record player, and uh, really gotten back into vinyl recently, and uh, specifically a lot of metal vinyl, mostly black metal because it's my favorite subgenre of metal. Um, Black metal is just my current obsession right now, so I've been getting a lot of black metal vinyl. Uh, starting off with Aklis Melinoe, which I'm actually listening to on the turntable right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Awesome black metal album. I think this is out of the U.S., if I remember correctly. Uh, Iadem Logobar. This is... Uh, released through Iron Bonehead Productions. I think this is limited to 400 copies worldwide, black vinyl. Eschatology, Undergang Visioner. Um, yeah, uh, this is released through Darker Than Black. Um, I don't know if this is a limited run, but this is on Translucent Red. Caskets open. Uh, Concrete realms of pain. Let me show you guys the record for this one because it's pretty sick. I got this for free from Hell's Headbangers when I ordered some records from there, and they just sent it as a freebie extra. But it's got this uh, blue splatter vinyl, and it looks pretty sick. I think. Gave this a listen the other night. Not too bad. This is limited to 150 copies worldwide. So that's pretty cool. You have to give me a second while I struggle to get this record back in here. It's on one of these shitty ass plastic sleeves. Plastic inner sleeves are the bane of my existence when it comes to record collecting. Next up, we have Thy Feeble Savior and Darkness Fell, released through Hell's Headbangers. They had a big sale of a lot of vinyl for $8.88, so I just picked up a bunch of uh, cheap ones. Dreamer's Seal, through Woods of Obscure Solitude. This is a Greek black metal demo from the early 90s. It's actually pretty fucking sick. This was released through Iron Bonehead, and I think this was limited to... I want to say 200 copies, maybe 500, something like, somewhere between 200 and 500. Pretty sick, though. Uh, really underrated, really, like, obscure, not very well-known uh, group. That was their only, the only thing they ever released was that demo. But, uh, if you get the chance, I recommend looking up on YouTube and checking it out. There's uploads of it. It's pretty sick. This is, This Gift is a Curse, All Hail the Swine Lord. This is on double... This is a double uh, black vinyl, 250 copies worldwide, released through Season of Mist. Uh, mixture of sludge, black metal, pretty sick. Apollokia, Catharian Vortex, released through Sad Sun Music. There's a lot of uh, companies listed on the bottom here. I don't know which one uh, published this, though. This is limited to 500 copies worldwide. Mine is number 278. Some sick traditional black metal. Foscor, Le Irial Visions. I don't speak French. I think that's French. Anyway, this is some uh, post-rock with, like, uh... It's like, uh dark, like, it's like atmospheric metal, uh, with like, uh, little hints of black metal in there. This is limited to, this is on white vinyl, double white vinyl, limited to 250 copies worldwide, or 200 worldwide, sorry. This is a repress, Armageddon, Final War Approaches, uh, Swedish black metal, uh, yeah, 
pretty sick. Uh, as far as I think it's Swedish, I feel kind of stupid if it's not Swedish, but I'm pretty confident that this is Swedish black metal. Rob Zombie, Hellbilly Deluxe. Uh, this was a bitch to get into its protective sleeve. I don't know how long it's going to be before I take this out again to actually listen to it. it. took me like five minutes to get this in the protective sleeve, though. Don't come home and drink it with love it on your mind, Loretta Lynn. It's classic country, can't go wrong with that. Uh, Isley Brothers, real deal. This was 50 cents at the uh, place where I was shopping, and I had some store credit from trading in some stuff, because I uh, couldn't get cash back on everything, so they gave me some store credit, so I said, fuck it, this is 50 cents, it looks goofy, I'll pick it up. Also got this there, Ted Nugent Scream Dream. It was three dollars. Figured, fuck it, why not? Pick it up. And last but not least, we have Temple of the Impure by Hades Archer, released through Hell's Headbangers. Um, this is like a Black Death, if I remember correctly. Some of these I haven't listened to yet, and I just picked up because they look cool and they were for sale or cheap or whatever. But uh, anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. I will be doing more vinyl updates in the future because I've got more records coming in the mail. So look forward to seeing those, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in.